Hey, so this is another little update. I just celebrated 500 posts on Instagram by putting together a bit of a party here on the approach. So I figured before I take everybody down, put them back into their respective places, I should sort of document it for posterity and all this stuff on Instagram tends to disappear after 24 hours. Well, not the post, but the videos at least. So. I'm going to scan through the crowds a little bit here. You can see a bunch of the newer Disney Series 2 and then some classic Fabuland. And we've got matching uh, unicorns and matching British guards and the Mickey and Minnie from the castle. And my own Eraser Mice uh, building contraption, Astromech suit, uh, or something not Astromech suit, whatever. You know what I mean. Uh, who else do we have here? Of course, the Fabuland classic characters, Mickey Minnie, one of the Bananas, a lot of Sig Figs, some other series. Let's see, we've got uh, The Collector and Lego RN Life, and uh, my eyesight is escaping me at the moment. Small Brick City, hey, there you are, Evan. Uh, so if you've been to his channel, we've got uh, uh, Colin and James uh, from uh, their Lego channels. We've got Doug in the front there. He's Doug to me, anyway. We've got some cheerleaders and the new Mickey, new classic black and white Mickey and Minnie. And then we have Dr. McBricks and we have For the Love of Lego and Splash Bro and Brick Banana and Ginger Dan and our Erasers and Wook Y Walker and Shale's Brick Art and the Carpenter and some more collectible minifigures all popping in and out in the background there doing their shtick. And then the members of the actual Eraser Mice family and gang up there. We've got everyone from Sonic to uh, Nyan Cat and the kids and Pepper and Bullet Man. Yeah, that Bullet Man. Um, so that's the latest on that. Just wanted to kind of document that and update that. Just finished uh, some a bunch of details on what I'm calling Ridgewood or Germantown section of Bricklin. A little. Uh, train counter that we just put in underneath and finishing out a bunch of different details on here sorry the place is a mess we have our own this is bullet man's uh, chamber of gravitational concentration this is how he uh, recharges his uh, bullet man powers uh, he can control gravity and density so that's uh, how he flies and uh, changes uh, effectiveness of projectiles his projectile abilities Working on some prototypes for crosswalks in the city. We're going to do some crosswalks across the streets. So want to do something a kind of a little more lightweight than, you know, full platforms across. This way it lets some light through and stuff. So using some techniques to kind of make things look nice. A little contrasting, some contrasting colors there. And other things that we have recently accomplished. So started to work more on the platforms back here. So looking at a couple of different platform styles. These are the ones I have been using. I've been using a lot of the CDX bricks or CDX blocks from Coaster Dynamics. I have a bunch of their roller coaster sets I've been using that way. I'm using a lot of the soccer fields. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with my Instagram feed, you'll know all about that. Kicking around a couple of different ideas now though. I'm uh, using some Lego, different Lego supports in here and arches and uh, I really want to kind of expand the entertainment district here. I've got a couple more cinema uh, boxes uh, waiting to go. A couple more cinemas that could wind up being in there. Here's one of the cinemas kicking around, waiting for its day in the sun, uh, hiding up there. <clears throat> and a couple more used ones. Uh, so yeah, that's the that's the thought on here. I like this. These are pretty cool because it's it is very open underneath. Uh, I don't know how well supported that is. I'm relying on a lot on these. What to even call them? Um, inverted slope four by four pieces, which are very—I find them very interesting. Um, I used to assume that they were just like you know used in Tie Fighters to attach the the panels on the sides to the ship body. But anyway, that's a uh, big fan of those. And let's see other things that you may not have seen in the other parts of the city. I don't know. I think probably everything else. I don't know if in the last video if I had finished all that out, but. Um, that's all finished and put together now. Very excited about that. So just a little bit of a documentation there of what's new in the city. And I keep promising myself I'm going to do more updates for 
you guys over on YouTube. So there it is. Until next time, this is Eric, a.k.a. Eraser Mice, uh, signing off from the city of Brooklyn. Uh, here's our Rancor, our autographed Rancor hiding on top of the... Hiding. <laughs> yeah, like that's hiding. Hanging out on top of the corner garage. Just random side stuff. Okay. Talk to you all later. Have a great time.